All right, what's going on, guys? I'm going to do a quick overview of uh, my thoughts on the Bluetti EB3A power station. Had it for a couple weeks now. Uh, been able to try out most of the features except for the solar. I still don't have a solar panel for it. Um, I do have one on the way. Um, so I can update this video later. But if you're buying one of these, chances are, like the rest of us, you've read reviews, you've watched videos, you've you know, you, and we we all do our homework, especially when you're going to spend this kind of money on the product. Um, and I can say, if you're watching mine right now, just add it to cart, buy it. You will not be disappointed. The only thing you can be disappointed in if you think the battery is going to last longer than what it actually is. But again, you do your research. You know, this size here, you're not going to be running your household on it, but you will be able to run some small appliances. Um, charge your devices and all that uh, with this unit just fine. Now, if you haven't watched my videos, I live on a sailboat full time. So power is an issue for me, especially when I'm not here in the marina. Um, and currently I don't have solar panels set up. I got a new boat. I haven't done the solar panel. So I need to run my refrigerator. I got a 56 quart uh, Rove Sun, you know, cooler refrigerator that when I leave the marina, I want to be able to power, obviously, um, while I'm out sailing. And that is why I bought this. Uh, so let's get right to that. Um, what I did is I, I charted it down here and I'll put a couple things on the screen. Um, so my refrigerator will run in eco mode, which is a very low power consumption. It'll run off of uh, DC 12 volt or the 120 volt. Uh, obviously when you're using 120 volt power, you are going to drain this battery faster. So I ran it on 12 volt power. I did not run it in eco mode because it actually didn't make a difference in this. Um, and the compressor runs a little stronger in regular mode. So I ran it in that. Uh, it pulls about 70 watts when it starts and then it runs at about 50 watts. Outside temperature was about 70 to 75 degrees. So it wasn't blazing hot. Um, which is a, a big factor as well, especially with these little cooler refrigerators. Um, but I got 11 hours runtime out of it, and I was very, very pleased. I had it set on 37 degrees. Uh, I keep it on the cold side, so it seems, uh, as far as the fridge, runs better. Uh, but I kept it on 37 degrees. The fridge kicks on and off when it goes up by 6 degrees. When it hits 6 degrees above the setting, it turns on. But anyways, 11 hours, and I run this completely dead. Uh, so I'm very impressed with that. Uh, as far as charging devices, uh, what's on the, the Blue Eddy, um listing here on Amazon is very accurate. So I'm not going to get into all that. Um, one thing I did notice, too, is a lot of people like, oh, it doesn't come with a solar with the, the you know the eight millimeter to the solar panel plugs and it does this came with it came with a power cord to charge it and it came with something to adapt it to a solar panel so I, I saw a lot of reviews saying there's no solar panel connector but it was uh, included with this um, you can see it the screen powers off like every 30 seconds or something if you don't do anything with it, which is kind of a pain. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to get into the technical details of this. You get a little flashlight here, which is cool. It'll do SOS and all that. Um, you got two 110 volt uh, plugs, and it says it says five amps on the 110 plugs, but in the manual it says 10 amps, so I was a little confused on that. My fridge, I know, runs on startup. It pulls eight amps, and it didn't trip this plug, so I'm, I'm thinking these are 10 amp and not five amp. Um, the 12 volt power is indeed uh, 10 amp. And then the other nice, the one of the really nice features of this is you don't have the big power brick on the cord to charge it. It's just a charging cord. Everything is in here the MPPT controller for solar. I mean, it's a great unit. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, 10 pounds, it's not real heavy, but it's got some heft to it. Uh, looks good. You got USB-C charging at 100 watts, and then you've got the two um, the USB-A's uh, charging ports. I mean, I just can't say enough about it. I'm not gonna make a long, long video because I'm not getting all technical. Oh, you got wireless charging on top. All I can say is, if you're looking for one of these, 
you're watching this video, you've watched all the technical videos, just go ahead and add it to cart, buy it. You will not be disappointed. I really like this thing. Um, oh, the the other one that in the reviews, a lot of people like the fan is really weird. It makes this screechy, you know, because when it's charging, it's got to cool because that's a lot of it's a lot of power coming in when you're charging up the battery. Uh, so a lot of people said, yeah, the fan is weird. It's screechy. And it is. <laughs> it is really bizarre. It's not loud. It does make some funny noises as it's trying to control the speed. Um, and to me, it wasn't a big deal because I, I kind of got used to it real quick because I could tell it's this making the noise. And if you've ever been on a boat and lived on a boat, you know, you're really in tune with noises because it could be something with the boat. But so that didn't bother me. I can tell when this thing's charging because you'll hear that weird sound. Um, the app control on it is decent. And uh, I think the only thing, the only thing I really don't like about this is it doesn't have an off button. And if you leave it on, just the internal mechanism of this is going to drain power. And it drains, I don't know what it is, but I could, you can watch it tick back you know, uh, a percent every hour or so. Um, so if you were to leave it on, it will eventually run the battery down to nothing. And you have to turn it off with the app, which I hate. It's the only thing I don't like about this. They need an on-off button. That was my only, my only complaint. But like I said, you've been looking at this, you've been watching videos, just go ahead and add it to your car and buy it. You will not be disappointed.